aside from Fredericksburg, Texas, what are some of <laughs> those other cities or towns in that area? So if you go to our map at planetary.org, you'll we have a com, uh, we have uh, a partnership with the Eclipse Company, and so you can see the path going from uh, southeast on the map. Uh, south, by southeast, of course, I mean southwest. Southwest on the map toward the northeast. And it goes through about the where you say 0.5% of the world's population, about 40 million people live in the path. Now understand eclipses happen every year and a half somewhere on Earth. A total eclipse happens. But the deal is they're usually in the middle of the ocean. You know, most of the Earth is covered with water, and so most total eclipses happen where nobody lives. And yes, eclipse chasing, chasing hardcore people do get on ships and go out to the middle of the ocean to get under the path. But this is going right over Mexico, Canada, U.S. As we like to say, don't miss it if you can. That's don't kind of a joke. <laughs> don't miss it if you can. Make sure to wear your glasses. Get in the path of totality. What other viewing tips for the total eclipse does Bill Nye have for us? Uh, don't don't spend very much time trying to use your camera, your phone, to take pictures. Just take the time to be in it. That's my advice. You get caught up messing with your camera and you don't quite realize what happens, uh, what's happening. Just, as I like to say, be in the moment. And uh, last one I saw was in 2017 and I saw something I've never seen before where you look way, way over to one side of the path and you can see that there's sunlight way, way the heck out there. It's not like a sunset. It's a different thing. And I mention this because during this eclipse, there'll be something I've never seen before. And I don't know what it's going to be. There'll be some feature of the eclipse that I've never seen before. And if you're of a mind, you can make the so-called pinhole viewer. If you get a pinhole in a shoebox and project it from the pinhole onto the other end of the shoebox. You'll be able to look at that and see the disk of the moon going over the disk of the sun, but it's not all that compared to wearing the glasses and really being in it. So pictures don't do it justice. We know that. What else well, do- Well, picture somebody, NASA will be taking pictures. Z one zillion people will be taking pictures. So view they'll the pictures after, after the five minutes, yeah. then view the pictures. Yeah, there'll be automated systems, telescopes, tracking the moon, taking beautiful pictures. You ask me for advice, my advice is be in the moment.